In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we find ourselves at a true intersection in life. Many of us are at different intersecting moments, potentially welcoming a newborn into our home, having a birthday and celebrating, a new job, the loss of a loved one, a changing, life-changing diagnosis, a new residence and place of living, an engagement, a 40-day blessing as we witnessed three of this morning, a church to come to and to pray in. The list can go on and on, but today's challenge is how to intersect with God at all times. Do we call out to Him daily for thanksgiving and guidance, or do we just go by our own volition? On the way here, I was reminded truly of this, finding intersections in life. In the deluge of rain, sometimes the most comforting thing is to get to an intersection and just stop for a moment. But what do we do when we stop? Do we go immediately for relief on our phone? Or do we stop in the moment and give thanks to God? Give thanks to God for having life and the opportunity to be with Him and to be with one another. Truly, many of these things are life-giving intersections in life. But my brothers and sisters, we are intersecting at this moment to be with our Lord in His temple, in His sanctuary. The best way to be guided in life is to follow the liturgical guide, the guide of our services, and the schedule of that which we do in the church. From the very earliest times, the schedule of feast is what dictated everyone's schedule. So we just finished And we continue to remember in celebration the great feast of when our Lord was presented in the temple. You see the icon here in the side apps over there. And in this icon, we see a true depiction of one of the greatest anticipations and preparations that happened leading to the intersection of when Christ Himself was brought into the temple by His parents and received into the righteous arms of Simeon. It is a very important thing to realize that this feast truly talks about anticipating and preparing for Jesus Christ to enter our hearts. St. Simeon was older than many years in life, and he waited because he asked God, saying, God, When I receive you in my arms, I will then be able to depart this life in peace. So I ask each of you today, what are you doing to prepare for Christ? How are you preparing in anticipation of our Lord entering your heart at all times? No matter what you may be experiencing in this life, Jesus Christ is there for you to receive Him to guide you with love and grace. And just as the elder Simeon receives Christ in his arms, we read this same prayer today as we concluded the 40-day blessing service. And in anticipation today, we find ourselves at another blessed intersection. The church in her wisdom offers us preparation and anticipation to receive our Lord at Pascha, at Easter. And these three weeks leading up to Great and Holy Lent are to help us prepare and anticipate Christ in all of His glory. So today is the first Sunday of these three leading up to Great Lent Sundays, the Triodion period. And today we hear of the parable of the Pharisee and the publican. The publican being the man who is a tax collector, and he goes into the church humbly, 
and in the quietude of his heart says, Lord, please remember me and have mercy on me. And on the other end, there was a man of great stature in life. He came into the church and he boasted and cried out and screamed so that other people would see him pray. But the true thing for us to know today is is that when we come into the church to receive God, we are truly interacting with Him. And just like St. Simeon the Elder, we should prepare and anticipate Christ at all times. Another intersection that we see today, as you can see, some of our vestments are red and some of them are white. White being the intersecting moment every Sunday of the resurrection. And in red today, we wear in remembrance with our Philoptohos ladies for all of those who suffer from heart disease. So truly a way that we are intersecting all of the things that we are celebrating today. We are all called to celebrate at this time. And as we hear in today's hymn, for the feast of the presentation into the temple of Christ, we hear the following. And I want to illustrate one thing that is said. And you, O righteous elder, speaking to Elder Simeon, be glad in heart, receiving in your embraces the one who liberates our souls and bestows on us the resurrection. So I tell each of you today, just like this hymn implores, calling out to St. Simeon, be glad in heart. Because no matter what you're experiencing today, no matter what you're carrying in your heart, be glad in heart and receive Christ who is before us. So indeed, we are at a blessed moment today. And also, we are blessed because we continue to learn of these things in the church. Learn from one another. And in the Discover Orthodoxy class, we continue to be blessed with the ability to bring all of those faithful in. This is truly a blessing as I now look out and see many of the faithful who were received recently. These who now find the truest intersection in life, receiving the body and blood of Christ for the remission of sins and for life eternal. So on this day, my brothers and sisters, as we continue to prepare for great and holy Lent, I tell you, just as the righteous elder is told in today's hymn, be glad in heart and receive Him, Christ, the liberator of souls and the one who bestows on us life in resurrection. We pray this in Your name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.